For a long time it's been thought that better players irons make it easier to shape the balls, players irons like this one, as opposed to big clunky chunky cast oversized cavity backs like this. In this video I wanted to find out whether better players are maybe sacrificing some forgiveness by using the smaller bladed clubs. And is it maybe time to swallow the ego some amount and maybe move to something a little bit more forgiving? Let's find out. So I've set up a scenario here at Augusta on the 15th, par 5, second shot into a green and I've got to go around the trees. So let's start with the bladed club. I'm going to hit four shots with each, just to see which one I feel is always the easiest to actually get the ball to manoeuvre around that tree and get as close to the pin as possible. Shot number one with the bladed iron. This is looking pretty good. If it's got the legs, get up. It has. And just running off over the back of the green. Shot number two. Yeah, this is closer to the pin, I think. Sit. Just a little bit long. And sometimes that can be the issue with the draw shot. It can be a little bit hotter, tends to come out a little bit lower. And the descent angle tends to be a little bit less severe as well. So it's coming in a little bit shallow and it can obviously go through the back of the green. So shot number three, as you can see, I'm capable of shaping the ball with this sort of forged bladed club. I'm now going to see if I can get a little bit more height on this one to see if I can get a little bit more stop. Definitely more height. Yeah, get a little bit more stop on the other side, bit of a steeper descent angle. I'm really happy with that one. Okay, shot number four, let's see if we can get a little bit more curvature. It's going to be really difficult to get this close, but let's give it a go. This is perfect. Oof, just a little bit long. Just a little bit off that and that would have been really good, but as you can see, pretty predictable. The shape on the ball was quite controlled with the bladed club. Right, now let's hit the big oversized cavity back, which to be honest, it's virgin on a hybrid, it's that big. It's cast, it ain't great looking behind the ball, and I have a feeling it's gonna be quite tinny when I hit it, but it's the performance of the ball that we're interested in. Can I get this to move around that tree and get it somewhere near the pin? Shot number one. Well, that was tight. Sit. Okay, that's going to be quite a tough up and down from there, but the ball was certainly shaping. It was a little bit fortunate not to catch the tree, but I'll take that. Right, shot number two, let's see if we can send this out a little bit more to the right. We have, didn't strike that great, needs to go I think. Oh yes. That was just a little bit off the heel, that's user error, not the club, but we could see that the ball certainly was moving in the air quite a bit. Okay, shot number three, let's see if we can get a slightly better connection with this one. Again, sending this out to the right. Better connection. Nice shape on that. Oh yeah. Go on, Paul. I'm switching. <laughs> I'm getting rid of my blades. Right, last shot with the big oversized cavity back. Let's see if we can recre recreate that last shot again, because that was great. Oh, yeah, this one's pretty straight as well. Yeah. Pretty much straight out it coming around, lovely. That's fantastic, and as you can see there, Balls moving around in the air pretty much as much as with the bladed club. Oh. I could say never work with children and animals. So to conclude, I personally believe that a lot of better players are maybe sacrificing some forgiveness and potentially a little bit of control, certainly when it comes to descent angle, by using bladed irons, and it might be a, a better option to use a big oversized cavity back. Maybe something a little bit more attractive than this one if you can find it. 
And that's something up to you to go to a fitting and maybe try some different combinations. I know there are combo irons where you get the bladed short irons and then as the set progresses, they get a little bit more forgiving. Or there's nothing wrong with even mixing and matching with a, a particular brand if you want to. Most brands will have a bladed type of club and will have something a little bit more forgiving as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. I'll see you again soon.